Well, hello there folks and welcome back to The Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Here we are again. A little bit different guys, I'm bringing back Sample Sunday. I know I did it probably about a year ago, I brought it back, did a couple on the Sundays. Haven't done it for a while. The samples are just building up guys, so I'm really, really going to have to get involved with some of these samples. So, I was sitting down today, had a look, flick, flick through. Thought I'd pull out something that I haven't really done before. I've never ever had an Amroot. I've never tasted anything from Amroot, the Indian whiskies, but this I've managed to dig out a sample from the, my good friend uh, Jerry Kersey, the Dram Yankee, aka the Dram Yankee, over there in Vegas. So Jerry's very kindly sent me the Amroot Indian Single Malt Whiskey. It's cast strength, guys. It's non-coloured and it's non-chill filtered, and it's a whopping 61.8% ABV. I have tried a little bit of it earlier, so I've got a wee bit acclimatised to it. So I'm just going to finish this off now. I've had it covered up, guys, for the last hour or so. Not by my own coin today, but I've got it covered up by uh, Whiskey Novice, Jim. Jim's just got his new coin to me. Thank you very much for that, Jim. Looks fantastic, buddy. Real, real wonderful coin. Big thanks, Jim. Big congratulations to hitting that 1,000 subs, mate. It's thoroughly well deserved. Should have happened a long time. Onward and upward. Moving on to that magical 2K now then, Jim. So, yeah, let's dive onto this one. Amroot Whiskey, guys, I don't know nothing about it. I've not researched anything. I've got no notes. I'm just going to just give this as it comes out. They got straight out of the bottle, straight into the glass. Going to taste, nose it and taste it. No score today. Wow, that one is so sweet, so fruity. Wow. Red fruit, lots of red fruit, red apple. Maybe some berries, maybe a bit, a little bit of cherry in there, maybe as well. Raspberry, strawberry, might even be a touch of plum in there as well. But it's all kind of red, fruity, so sweet, so sugary. It's actually got a really nice fragrance. It's very floral, fragrant. But wow, I think there's a where'd that come from? I think there's a. I think there's a little bit of peat in this as well guys, I'm not too sure as I say, I've no researched it but I'm almost positive there's a little hint of peat in the back here. Yeah, definitely a little bit of peat. Maybe even some licorice as well, a little bit of minty, sticky... Don't think it's a black licorice though, I think it's more a red licorice. But it's so sweet. It's almost as well, it's got a real dusty character. I'm thinking maybe of a, a wood shop, maybe after you've been sawing some wood there. Even that burning smell that you get from burning wood salt as you're sawing it, that hot wood. But it's dusty, it's so dusty. Really, really nice. But those, it's all about the fruit in this for me, guys. It's all about that raspberry, that strawberry. Might even be a little bit, of, say there's definitely toffee and vanilla and maybe even some custard. So I'm, I'm thinking... Maybe some sort of strawberry or raspberry trifle. Real, real sweet trifle. Maybe some red fruit in the bottom of it. Maybe a bit of cherry in there as well. Wow, such a nice nose. But as we know, guys, it's not all about the nose. It's it's all about how it tastes on the palate. So just going to send this one down the hatch, folks, and let's see how we go on with it. Cheers. Wow, 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 wow. Talk about intense. It's powerful. It's spicy. It's chilli heat. It's hot chilies. Hot pepper. Hot sauce. It's, wow, it's powerful. Big, big, big arrival. Spicy arrival. Ginger, hot ginger in there as well. Some real hot spices in this one, but as you really get as it develops, it's a spicy, hot, powerful arrival, and as it develops, it becomes mouth watering, juicy. Those red fruits have become now juicy, juicy red fruits. Those raspberries, those strawberries, that red apple is a real juicy, juicy, juicy red apple. 
but at the same time, folks, there's some really nice toffee notes, some really nice caramel, really nice vanilla. And the spice is just integrating with it well. Um, but it's hot, it's powerful, it's intense. The spices are maybe a little bit over overwhelming at the minute, so the balance is probably out of touch. I'm going to add some water to it, folks. See how that does with some water. But it's spicy, it's oaky. That, that sawdusty, dusty feeling now is more going like a, maybe a kind of toasty though. But at the same, it's, the same time, it's still sweet, still sugary. Bit of confectionery in there is now maybe a sweet shop no maybe some some powder coated sweets maybe some bonbons got that kind of dust dusty on it maybe an icing maybe some icing sugar there's definitely a dusty note in there somewhere let's let's see how it does with some water folks let's get some water on this I'm pretty sure the guys at sixty one point eight percent this is going to take plenty of water so I'm going to put nice big that's probably where are we that's probably the equivalent of a teaspoon of water in there folks so let's see how it tastes let's see what it does now with the water give it a little as ralphie would say give it a little strolly strolly in the glass or will we just go above ralphie and just get a right good shake so okay wow that's that's changed lots it's much more confectionery now it's much more sweet shop. Those raspberry bonbons are there. The, the, the dusty, the icing sugar, the red fruits. It's gone a little bit now, maybe. The peat's gone a little bit. The peat's in there now, still in the back. It's The peat's just keeping a nice little, taking a little back seat. Gone a little bit, a little bit of punginess on the back with the peat, but it's still, you'd have to search it out. But it's still beautifully toffied, beautifully vanilla. Wow, such a nice. I think the water. The water's really helping this one, guys, because it's it's becoming the ginger's still there, but it's toffied, caramelled, really beautifully integrated with those those red fruits, those plums, those red apples, the strawberries, the raspberries. That trifle note is maybe is a, I'm pretty sure there's a little bit of cherry in the bottom here now as well. So, but it's taking all that that really really intense powerfulness away from the nose. The spice just seems nice as well. But let's see what the water does in the palate. Do the hatch, folks. Wow, water works well with this folks, this is one you definitely need water with, I'm not sure the age yet guys, so I've not done any research on it, no notes on it, just straight out of the, into the glass, into the palette, down a hatch, I'm going to share it with you, but I'm not going to make any attempts at ages because I know the climate in, over in India is, over there in Bangalore, I think it kind of doesn't matter how old it is, if it's young whiskey, it's still, it can still fool you. So, yeah, climate's great. This could be three, four, five year old, but it, it's, I'm not going to attempt what it tastes like. But the water definitely helps this. Makes it a wee bit more balanced. Got a beautiful balance now between that toasted oak, those red fruits, the spices are in there as well, and a little bit of peat in the background. Lovely little licorice note in there as well, red licorice. It's, wow, heading to the finish, it's just, it's just fruity all the way through. It's such a fruity, spicy, sweet, sugary, a little bit of salt in there as well. So, wow, real, real nice, but it's, it's real, real fruity, guys. Let's see how it finishes. Let's send this down the hatch for the finish. Okay. Finish, toffee, vanilla, red licorice, red fruits, dark red fruits, a little bit of peat, still spicy, the chilli is now going a wee bit more gingery, so it's more ginger on the finish, real real nice man, what a whiskey, thank you very much Jerry, guys if you've tried Amroot, 
I say this is the first arm route I've ever tried. Should I try more arm route? What arm route should I look out? Give me some, drop into the comments, let me know what I should search out for. Um, really, really enjoyed this one. 61.8%, wow, what a whopper. Dive in, let me know in the comments, guys. Just another quick thing, guys. If you've liked the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Just down here. And you can catch us on all social media platforms. We're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. We're still on Patreon. If you feel like diving over, checking out the Patreon pages, guys. Give it on, have us a look. Anything that comes our way from Patreon just goes back to buying this stuff behind us and upgrading the equipment. Uh, and big thanks again to Jim with the Whiskey Novice for his whiskey friend, his whiskey coin. Thank you very much, Jim. And a big congrats again with the thousand subs, fella. Onwards and upwards, my friend. So that's it, guys. Until the next one, I'm Alan. I'm the Whiskey Friend. And as always, the pleasure is in the sharing. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers now. Bye-bye.